I bought this knife off Amazon just a few days ago for $13. They call it an 8CR13 MOV blade, and it's in a buoy style. It's a non-assisted folder. Uh, I, I think that 8CR13 MOV is an excellent budget steel, but I have no way of knowing if this is actually 8CR13 MOV. I mean, cool hand. Who is that? How can I even trust that? I, 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 don't, I don't know if I can. But uh, I honed the edge myself to just get a little feel for the metal. It's definitely hardened, whatever it is. It's some hardened stainless steel is, is what I got from my experience with it. I also did a little bit of whittling uh, against just a piece of, of pine for a few minutes just to see if I could detect any kind of damage from just a little bit of of actual work with it I, I couldn't feel any any change to it which which I should not have but you know with some of the softer especially like unhardened 440 stuff that's out there and even some of the uh, lightly hardened 440a stuff uh, you could still notice a little bit of rolling from that much work I didn't notice any of that so quality for 13 bucks feels pretty good to me for starters but I, I mostly got this just to, to check it out to see if there would be any quality here because it looks cool. Uh, I like the I like the the buoy style of design, very ag aggressive clipping there and nice brushed finish on the metal. We've got the layered supposedly G10, you know, some sort of, of fiber based material back here, which is actually uh, it's not patterned with with dyes or in the material itself it's actually machined this whole thing is cnc machined so all that shaping in there is is really nice and it gives it good texture it's not sharp fortunately uh, none of the the holding areas feel sharp it actually feels very comfortable that's one thing i was worried about i could see from the pictures online that this was actually cut you know it's it's a uh, a metal liner in there that's the black and then you get the red layer of the G10 which is uh, epoxy fused into the next layer which is black and then it goes white black white black white black back and forth and then they just cut through the white and black layers but it, it actually feels good and confident there's no area of this where I'm like oh oh that's gonna cut me you know like a paper cut uh, one thing that will cut unfortunately uh, with these scales, the way that they're milled out, it's right around the lanyard hole. Uh, if you are going to use a lanyard with this, you must get in there with a reamer or something and chamfer those edges. Otherwise, it will cut and fray your lanyard very, very quickly. I guarantee it because that, the inside of that drilled hole right there is is sharp. Not sharp enough, or at least not at, a, at an angle that it's gonna bother your fingers at all but if you get down in there yeah that's just something to look out for so no spring assist on this a little bit tight from the factory in the in the pivot better to be tight than loose i say uh, everything feels pretty good at, at all points in terms of of movements the build quality feels good nice and tight no no worries there just in general the craftsmanship feels excellent for something so cheap I wish that it had a little bit more of a deep carry pocket clip here. I mean, that's, that's a fair amount of, of distance there. It's not bad. It's a handsome looking thing, you know? It, it, I feel like it, in terms of aesthetics, it fights above its weight class. In terms of quality, I feel like uh, it exceeds my expectations for that price. I think the value for this is very good. And I am definitely interested in trying out some quote-unquote cool hand brand stuff in the future uh, see if they you know if they come out with anything else that that looks cool uh, definitely feel like I, I got my money's worth here and uh, it's worth giving them another shot